Welcome to my video. I am making nocelli today because I made chicken paprikash and this will be the best side dish to the chicken paprikash. You need uh, two eggs or at least I make it with two eggs right now because I want to have more and I add a little salt I hope. and we scale up a little bit you don't have to worry about it that much add two cups of flour and I mix it up I brought one cup of water and that's, that way you can see what's going on because the measurement is always depend you have to practice a little bit this doesn't cost you that much so you can play with it now I just put the half of it in it because that way I can control my dough and it's almost right I don't make it too soft because when I am making it then it's not the best if it's too soft and I am showing you this is the consistency this is in the little bit harder way and then you will see why I said to leave it a little bit harder than soft water is boiling so I turn the heat down a little bit and you have to season your uh, water because your pasta or nocetli will taste better if you use a little salt. You have to dip your spoon. Today I make it with the spoon. You can see three different ways how I made it on the other videos. So check all of them. But this is the easiest. You flatten, add a little water here, make a little lines and then just have a little bit. Then put your spoon in the water again. And it depends how big you like it. You see how easy to make? You just mix it together, boil the water, add salt to the water, and then you make the uh, no kettle. It's very easy. Everybody has worry about to make this. This is the easiest to make. And you don't have that little no kettle maker. Then I am showing you with the spoon. It's easy and you will love it, I bet you. Just try to make it. See, flatten, uh, put a little water here, and then line. Let me slow down. Flatten, lines. This would kill me if I have to do it this slow. <laughs> you have to stay here all day, forget it. But at first time, you can do it slow motion. See how fast? First time won't be that fast for you, but you can play with it. Of course, I do it so long, so I do it faster. And top of that, I don't have too much time on the video time, so I try to hurry up, make sure you can see it in one video, and you don't have to go to part one, part two. Sometimes they leave a note, you know, my mom didn't make it this way or that way, that was your mom. And this is me. That's how I do it. So it's up to you who you follow, and that's it. And I would like to hear if your no can turn out good. That's why you, I said not to make your dough too soft because you add a little water to this one, and then let's make it softer. So this way, make make it flat. It's easier to do if than if you do in a big lump. Flat, make lines. With me, you can learn to cook fast and your food will taste good, I am telling you. You see, I have to check my chicken because I'm making chicken paprikash in the other pan or pot. So I will show you that one too when I finish. Okay, this is the last one. No, 
now I turn back the heat for high because I have to cook it through. Because we make, made it with the spoon, then it, the knocker is bigger, so you have to cook it a little bit longer. But you will cook it. Uh, in my opinion, it's better if you stay here because it's overflowing and then you have to clean the stove too. So the better thing, you stay here until it's cooked through. You see why you have to attend? Because it's one overflow. So then you have to clean stove, forget it. I learned my lessons, so I stay here until it's cooked through. They say it's done when it's coming up, but on the top, but I, I always taste it and check it because I don't like when uh, pasta is not cooked through. Almost done. I can stay here a little longer. And after it's done, we have to strain it. Now I am straining it. And you be careful because it's hot. Add the cold water. Rinse it well. Very much. Done. Make sure the water is getting out of it, all the liquid. Okay, we can put it here. You have no idea how good this tastes. Tiny, not much, grapeseed oil. Mix it up, and this way your knocked leaf won't stick together. You so saw I didn't put too much because Hungarian style was a long time ago. They used lard and lard and everything, and I was a fussy child, so. This is the knocked leaf, finished. It's not expensive, so you can play with it and let me hear how that turned out. I hope you have a good time and you can learn the easy way to make Hungarian food or other food. Chicken paprikash with sour cream and the chirke percut without sour cream. Don't forget to push the red button for me and if you like it, share it. Thank you.